Now, as we've been trailing all morning, Colleen Rooney has finally broken her silence on the Wagatha Christie scandal yesterday. It was in an interview for the September issue of British Vogue. Now, Lucy, you're back. Wow. I have been poring over it. There is so much incredible detail in there. Um, it's the it's the interview that we've been all been waiting for. Now you remember it all started dot 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 with that social media post on the 9th of October Boom. 2019. Yeah. Uh, following on from that, there was a legal battle which Colleen won. Um, Rebecca still denies that she leaked um, anything uh, to the press. But on writing that post, so in the interview, there's so much different stuff that comes out of it. But Colleen talked about how she wrote that social media post. She wrote it first with pen and paper because she liked to sort of scribble bits out. She was making a mistake, so she planned it. Then she posted it the next day on social media. Obviously, everyone went wild. She didn't take any advice from anyone. She didn't talk to anyone about it because she said she probably wouldn't have done it then, so no legal advice whatsoever. It just went out into the world. Um, and how incredible was it? And she said she's doing the Disney Plus documentary and said it's brought up so many different emotions, but it's about time she told her side of the story. Look at your face. Oh, I, just, I, mean, I, I went to see the theatre show about the court yeah. trial. I mean, it's just it's explosive. It really is. She does talk about her sort of friendship or relationship with Rebecca before the dot, dot, dot came out, doesn't she? Yeah, she does, and actually it's, it's brilliantly dismissive because she says oh. that they, um, you know, they were just associated because of their husbands both playing football, but she... I love how she defines proper intimacy and friendship. She said, I never went for a drink with her. So that's her saying, I was never proper friends with her. She said, though, Rebecca seemed to sort of love-bomb her a little bit because she invited her to a wedding, she had invites to baby showers. Colleen never went because she said, I don't really know her well enough, and at one point she said... Is she just trying to get really close to me? But she was never suspicious. She said she had no reason to sort of doubt, you know, putting her on her private Instagram, which is all how it all unraveled, yes. because she said she was from the same world as me, so why would she have ever done anything? Wow. And she also, of course, she's in Vogue, so she has to talk about the fashion. Oh, But yes. her style during the court trial... Well, she talked about talked I mean, about how she managed it. Yeah, and this fashion editors were putting them, you know, head to head when the trial was on, and there was so much analysis of their outfits, so it looked like they'd been meticulously planned. I think they had been from Rebecca, but Colleen said, "I did not buy a new wardrobe. I'd rather spend money on a holiday wardrobe than a court wardrobe." But she says that Wayne um, had to buy new suits for Herman S because when it came to the court case, his old suits didn't fit him. Didn't fit him. Um, and there's other brilliant stuff in there. Obviously, there was the famous meme where Wayne is carrying her Fendi tote bag. With full of court papers and, um, the, you know, the meme went when a PE teacher um, teaches geography for the day. Oh, I see. Um, That's what they think yeah, it looked like. And, yeah. and they said they really laughed at that meme. Gosh. But the reason he kept carrying her bag was now for superstition. So, because obviously he's a football, he probably has sort of rituals that he yes. went through. So every day he would carry her bag for God, her. She's really opening the doors on this, isn't she? She really is, yeah. Um, now, has Rebecca Vardy responded to any of this? Well, she only has on comments on her own social media, but brilliantly responded, as you would hope. So somebody said the Disney documentary is to follow. Rebecca said she just can't let go. And then replying to another person who said that she was jealous, she said, jealous of what exactly? Spare me the pain. Uh, and then another user said um, said something to her and she said, I don't get why you keep bringing it up. You know, it's boring now. No, the public don't want to know. I've moved on and so have they. The public do want to know. We absolutely <laughs> can't get enough. Now, well, that's of course the sort of slightly salacious and scandalous side of football yes, uh, and yeah. what goes on. We have, of course, got the brilliant game itself, oh, the final, on Sunday. Yeah. And you can start watching it here on ITV too.